Big, big facts. What's up, man? So, I'm watching this Rolly Romero interview, and he's talking about Ryan Garcia, and he said something really intriguing. He said that, uh, well, you, you, you know, Ryan Garcia, everybody see Ryan Garcia's meltdown. We don't know if it's real. We don't know if it's fake, whatever. We don't know if he's doing this to get out the fight. Or we don't know if he's really having a ment having mental issues. But Rolly Romero believes he really has mental issues. And he says that the interviewer asked him, you know, if you was fighting Ryan Garcia, would you want would you step in and be and tell his team like, yo man, maybe this fight shouldn't happen or whatever. And Rolly Romero said, "Well, if I sign the contract, I, I have to go through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through with the contract." But he said it is up to Ryan Garcia's team to stop the fight. You know, he said if they let this guy, Ryan Garcia, get out there and fight, they don't give a damn about him. They only care about themselves. They're only doing it for selfish reasons, which is money. So that's including Ron Garcia's parents, his family, his trainers, promotion team. Well, we know De La Hoya don't give a damn. But his family, for the most part, like if they let, so Rolly was saying, if they let Ryan Garcia, with his mental condition, get out there and fight, they just showing who they truly are. A bunch of leeches. And Ryan Garcia don't need those people around him. You know what? And that's true because uh, Ryan Garcia brother, bro. This dude went online. Let me see can I find that. This, uh, this dude did a, did a post. He wrote a post about his brother. Like, y'all pray for my brother and all <laughs> that. Oh, shut up. Y'all pray for my brother. My brother, I don't condone what my brother is doing. Look at what this guy wrote. For everyone, this Ron Ryan Garcia brother. For every, and this was like days ago. For everyone asking me about my brother Ryan, I'm sorry. I can't tell you guys if he's okay or not. I love my brother with all my heart, but I do not condone what he's doing. I have my own life, and he does what he does with his. My next fight, I will be fighting at Armo Vargas, Amada Vargas. Our teams are slowly going to make this fight happen for now. I'm in the gym with it, and I have nothing to do with my brother's situation. Please don't give up on Ryan and pray for him. He is a great man just under a lot of pressure. So this guy, this brother, is just an example of what this family is all about. This brother took the time to write a post and promote. He took the time to write a post about what Ryan's going through. I can't tell you guys if he's okay. Why can't you tell us? You, you're his brother. I love my brother with all my heart, but I do not condone what he's doing. I have my own life and he does what? You don't know if your brother okay? Don't you think you need to check on your brother, bro? It's weird. And then this dude had the nerve to promote his fight. So cause he knew he was gonna gain a lot of attention in writing his post off of Ryan mental episodes and decided to promote his fight during the worst time, during some of the most mental challenging times of Ryan Garcia's life, he decides to take advantage of that and, and piggy bank off that and basically step on Ryan's head to promote his own fight. That's a scumbag move, bro. I think that's when a man is down. 
with something he can't help. Well, it's assumed he can't help. We know mental mental health is something you really can't help. But to take advantage of your loved one that has mental health issues and promote yourself, promote what you got going on, shows how much of a scumbag you are. It shows how much you don't really care about your brother. You only care about yourself. Seems to be a selfish family. And this is what Roly was saying. It, you know, they selfish. If they let Ryan get out there and fight, they only care about themselves. They don't care about Ryan. And this is just in the prime, prime example of Ryan's brother. A part of that whole family. You know, so. That scumbag, bro. And this is the guy that was Ryan's brother, the same guy that you can see holding the mitts for Ryan, the same guy that we saw next to Ryan when Javante and Ryan was fighting, was having words with Javante, that guy. Yeah, he's trash for that. So, uh, yeah, man, that's what Roley had to say about that, though. I agree with Roley. But I also think that Ryan Garcia, maybe, you know what I'm saying, maybe he do have, I'm 50-50 I'm with it. Maybe he do have mental issues. But it took the Devin Haney fight to really bring it out. <laughs> it took, it, really, it seems to, you know, he didn't have, he was okay until he had to fight Devin Haney. Now, with all these other fights, he wasn't acting like this. Soon as he got to fight Devin Haney, oh, he's crazy. He he's broken down. Oh, he's totally losing it. Oh, he needs to be in a psych psychiatric ward. Oh, somebody come get Ryan. Oh man, I mean, bro, do Devin do that much to you, bro? The pressure of losing. So he, so there's the pressure of losing. So this is all about the pressure of losing. So the pressure of losing will drive you insane, bro. Like Tank said, you pro you need to get out of boxing. If the pressure of losing got you to where you done went total bat-ish crazy, insane, schizophrenic, you don't need to be boxing. Because don't nobody want to see cherry-picked fights all the time. You know? So it goes to show how mentally weak people are in boxing these days. Because Javante the same way. Like the man turned out for the million. Because he didn't want to lose to Devin Haney. Because he didn't want to fight Devin Haney. Oh, hold up. He knows he's going to lose. That's why he turned down all that money. But you fighting for money anyway. You don't, you don't even care about legacy. So what's the... I don't even understand Tank Tank's uh, mindset. I don't even understand what the hell he's trying to do. And and we got Ryan Garcia going crazy because he know he can't beat Devin Haney. So, like I said, I think it's 50 fit. I think he could be acting so he can get out the fight. Or I think, you know what I'm saying, I'm on the fence. I think it's a possibility he could just be acting it. Pretending to be crazy. Uh, you know, he could be pretending to be crazy. Yeah. And there's a there's a 50% that he could actually, this this Devin Haney fight, the pressure, that actually drove this man mental, smoking some wrong, getting, smoking some wrong stuff, and I went psychotic. You know? But you know what? I think he. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go 51 percent. Well, I think he acting. I think this is all an act. If he really crazy, they'll pull him out. If he really got, let's see if they pull him out to fight or not. Then we'll. Well, but like I said, even if they pull him out, he could be pretending to be crazy. So, to be honest, you know what I'm saying? I'm. I'm a lean with he pretending. 
I'm going to lean with that. I'm going to lean with the guy I'll say anything to get out of this fight. Because like I said before, he didn't, he didn't act this way with any other fighter. But now he's fighting Devin. He want to act all crazy. He want, he want to be in a loony bin now. Come on, man. Something smells rotten in Denmark, as Gene Deal would say. Peace.